Why are you feeling down when you're feeling blue? All you have to do is swipe that Visa card of you. <laughs> Nine of Wands! Leo, what got you? Ah, oh, Sal, it's been rough. I know. Trust me. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> So let me see the charts over here. Because Nine of Wands is the Nine of Wands, as I call it. Feeling betrayed and pain. You know, you, you were vulnerable. You were open. You were trying your best. And then, didn't work out the way that you would have thought of. Nine of Wands. You fought for something. You didn't get it. You were putting a lot of energy. This can be moving, relocating. This can be buying a home and got turned down. This can be fighting for a long-distance relationship and it didn't work out. If you're going to be tarot thirsty, this channel is not for you because I'm doing astrology together with tarot. I don't need the cards, but you guys like the cards. Okay. 1% of what, I, of what I do is tarot. 99% is only fans. <laughs> That's where the money is. <laughs> not in the tarot. <laughs> okay. There, you don't open your mouth. You open something else. <laughs> Very supportive of that community. Oh. <laughs> um, here, Nine of Wands over here is showing that the Leos are having issues in relationship. Let's be honest with that one. With Saturn in its own home, but Sun entered Aquarius, right? I do say dear astrology, not Western. So, Saturn is going to be here two and a half years. Sal, you told me I'm going to find someone. You told me I'm going to be this. I did say that, yes. I did say you marriage is in the cards, yes. I did say that this relationship, okay, is a soulmate. Yes, the sun is there. But nothing comes to life that is easy is worth having. Have you ever had teenagers before they become doctors? It was tough. Okay. Mm. Hopefully they become doctors. So. <laughs> I'm lucky if they finish high school. <laughs> no teen or shade, you know. As long as they do TikTok and they go viral, you know. No, I'm kidding. Everyone should go to college. That's my belief. I'm sorry. Okay. That's my belief. Okay. You can do whatever you want, but finish college. Okay. So, from what I'm seeing here, um, the relationship that you have, you had issues with communication. You have been struggling with money and friends. You have some toxic friends that have stuck behind your back. It's tragic, I know. Your co-workers hasn't been that cooperative. They look at you as bossy. But for you, it's just like, I'm just right. I'm not bossy. I'm just right. Okay. And then you say, and the boss is always right. <laughs> You're so empowered with this Mars and Taurus, I can't, Leo. You're just so energized. It's like, I'm just here to destroy who's next, you know? Because there's so much things in the relationship that is not working. So you went to your career mode. And then every day, everything there is just like, you, you, what do you want? <laughs> so I wouldn't want to see you in the DMV. Or anything that is public, you know, like government. Because I feel like you're going to be one of those next. Next. <laughs> you're a little bit testy, you know. The frustration in the relationship has put you to the edge. Okay. When you're Lagna... Not Lagna... When you're... See, here's the thing. Your Lagna Lord in the seventh loses its directional strength. What does that mean? You know when you shine? When do you shine? Ask yourself, Leo. When do you shine? What time of the day you will like, you feel so good? Okay. So let's just say you feel good at 12 o'clock, lunchtime. This is where I shine. Okay. So put sun in the opposite where you, where you don't shine. Well, I don't like Monday. As I say, you don't like Monday. That's how sun, Lagna Lord, feels right now in the seventh house. It's always a Monday. <laughs> And it stays on Monday for 30 days. Directional strength, we call it, digbala. We don't want sun when it's setting. Leo ascendant, rising. Sun setting on the opposite, which means like you are a sun in aqua. Leo ascendant, disaster. No, I'm kidding. It's a disaster. <laughs> okay. It's just showing you will keep giving to your partner because the sun is a benevolent king. I keep giving to my partner and I never get anything. Saturn in the seventh, I keep working in this relationship, I don't get anything. Disrespect is what I get. Taking advantage is what I get. I have reduced myself to what? A slave to this relationship and to this marriage. Equals nine of wands. 
Yeah, I summarized the past 10 years of your marriage. Mm -hmm. I should open a tarot school. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Wands, yeah? Am I right? You're coming into this. Moon in Aquarius, Leo Ascendant, disaster. <laughs> disaster? What am I going to say? Good times? No, it's not. For Leo Ascendant. Okay. So did I come here to butcher you? No, I come here to bring you out of the butchery. The debauchery, basically, of this relationship. Everything that is done in this dark will come out. Don't make a decision right now. Mercury is also combust. Retrograde is so 1990s. The Western community needs to release the retrograde. It becomes viral if it's in the Western. But Western does not believe... I don't think they have combustion. We do it in sidereal. Mm, no. You have technology problem, issues with communication right now, right? More intense. If it's not working, it's not working, period. Combust, Mercury. Saturn. Combust. You don't feel like working this relationship. You are exhausted. You are tired, Nine of Wands. Okay. Six of Wands. You want to see other people. Jupiter in the eighth. Good time for business, though. For Jupiter and Venus, Venus exalted. Once it step into March 8th in Rivati, it is already in Rivati. But we want it to simmer. If you are waiting for more money to come, alimony, um, eight houses, if you are into managing other people's money, finances, good time for you. Okay. Foreign travel is what you're itching. A Leo who doesn't travel is like, that's not a Leo. That's not a Leo. An Aqua that doesn't travel, that's not an Aqua. A Taurus that travels, uh, <laughs> they do. For a lot of fun, okay. But they don't want to spend. I'm kidding. Okay. So <laughs> it's traveling with a budget. Ah, oh, that choked me to death. Traveling with a budget. I don't do budget. I want excessive. You know, take me to the most you know expensive place. That's such a Leo, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see dollars. You see experience. That's what I say, right? <laughs> So now it's showing here that you have changed your career, you have issues at home, you relocated, you changed the apartment, you didn't feel comfortable living with your person anymore. Your mom has been some issue, bringing some issues also. From what I'm seeing here, because Mars is aspecting that, that fourth house of yours, you guys had a huge fight with your mom. It's a huge fight. If you're living in with someone, be careful also if you're driving, you have car issues. Magician, what do I do, Sal? What do I do? That's where I'm at. I'm a magician. I teach people, okay, to get out of the rut instead of just you being in the tarot world stuck. The tarot world is like the, the circle's fear in Lord of the Rings. When you touch it, you won't be able to let go. You'll be obsessed. Mm -hmm. Like thinking and thinking and thinking. You know? It's a cold. Mm. So watch it, you know, in moderation. Magician over here is like, Sal, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to make, you know, magician is single. I'm ready to break free. I learned my lessons that mercurial, one, swords, cups is an opportunity. You are able to break the cycle. Yes. However, in a Dustana house, in a benefic planets are there. It's tough. Okay. It's tough. You may be connecting six of ones with a lot of short, casual, it's already short sell, and it's more casual relationship, intimate affairs. You're lacking that, that, that thing that makes them stay. What is that thing that makes them stay, Sal? What? Give me that thing. I don't know, but I have it because they always stay. Okay. Because I keep them locked away. Because <laughs> this is what it is, right? You have issues because they always leave you. Right? And then there's one that was so promising, but they still left. Am I right? That's why you're so torn down with the Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. You waited for so long. You guys had a fight. Two years ago was so already difficult. And then they say, it's like, no, no, we're going to get married. We're going to be together. You're looking forward to being together, getting married. So you're willing to do everything and anything, magician. All right, then let's dive deeper and extended. Link in the description box below. If you are a person who's ready to commit to yourself for growth, the next video is for you.
If you're just obsessed with Turo, the next video is not for you, okay? Those are for the, the people who wants to make a change in their life. Especially that the spring equinox is coming and the eclipse season is coming. I'll see you guys in extended.